and a war veteran tonight on the walk of his life. He's trying to raise awareness about the war in Iraq. He started his trek out in California, and tonight he's made his way to our state. Bill McDonald believes in the power of one. For the last five months, he's been striding toward his one goal, to end the war in Iraq. I believe that one voice can still make a difference. It might be my voice, it might be your voice. I don't know, but I'll never know unless I do what I can. Bill started in California. He's taking a petition to our lawmakers in Washington stating the war needs to end. And so far, he's collected about 2,000 signatures. Bill says if nothing else, he hopes his quest will at least get people talking about the toll this war's been taking. It's logic and reason. It's not political. What we're doing is wrong. We need to stop it. But why a walk across the country? Why not just an internet campaign or something a lot less troubling? I know 3,200 families uh, who have sacrificed a lot more than we have. Uh, I don't consider this to be a sacrifice. I consider this to be doing something that that is the right thing to do. But Bill is not alone in this journey. His wife follows alongside in this camper. Now, they sold almost all of their belongings in California to buy the camper and fund the trip, and all along, she's been his number one supporter. Once we realized this is something that was really speaking to both of us, um, and in a way that we could speak to people, um, it was kind of like, okay, how do we make it happen? So one step at a time and one person at a time, Bill and his wife hope every American will soon speak up for what he truly believes. Don't just sit back and be mad. Do something. If this war is going to end anytime soon, it's going to be the people of the country who will make it end. And so far, Bell has walked more than 1,500 miles. He keeps the Daily Journal on his website, and for a link to that, just go to our website at ksbitv.com. And just in case you're wondering, Bill has gone through two pairs of shoes, and he's dropped one pant size so far. And tonight, an interesting approach to the battling.